Hello everyone and welcome back to Sousa Plays. This is Wild Animals and it's Blood Bowl. And we have still the problem with our Black Orcs that I've talked about ad nauseum. And we have a level on Gopher. And he hasn't gotten anything special, neither has Seagull really. So we're just picking the agility skills and uh, hoping to roll something well. Well enough that we will get better. And that's not good enough. So what do we get? Uh, we have catch. If you want to use him for scoring one turn touchdowns we should probably get sprint or sure feet. Probably sure feet. Because not often do we need to run one extra step. More often we will need sure feet. So okay let's get sure feet. And at this point, I would say our goblins are costing us a little bit too much team value in in uh, comparison to what they're actually worth. Having someone with diving tackle sidestep is really nice. You'd like to get block on him, so he can be even more annoying in his role as someone to disturb a ball carrier or a receiver. Just someone you can't get away from or get rid of. And this guy we want to throw for one turner. So I guess his skills so far have been useful for that, but he really needs to roll an agility roll. That will help a lot with both handing him the ball, with doing any dodges he needs to make, and uh, the landing of course, which is the toughest part of the, the goblin throw. That and the throwing part from the troll, I think, are the lowest, lowest percent chances. And we can't really do anything about the throwing part of the troll, except get him strong arm as his last skill. Which we might. There was something else I wanted for Hippo, but I can't remember what. Pylon, yeah, yeah, that's probably it. Now we want to stand firm as well, because that could have been useful several times. We're kind of out of skills. I wish I could choose his movement again even though five movement has helped us we definitely shouldn't have taken uh, multiple block we should have taken one of those two stand firm probably with stand firm instead of that we could go for strong arm as his last skill but now we probably have to go to stand firm for his last skill which isn't too far off but uh, let's hope we get our SVP on the Black Oaks instead. Okay, so we're going to play a game. That's what we do. 42 seconds, I will bring you back once we found an opponent. Uh, you probably already know who I will play because I put that in the name of the video, but I don't know. So I will be excited at least to see what it, we will face. And I'm excited because we're playing against Chaos. High level chaos, 2680. That's the highest level I've seen. Let's see, have a look at this team. I, uh, I uh, think I know what I'm looking at here. Yeah, actually four extra players. So that's some of the team value. They are super high level. Not a single mighty blow except the Minotaur. They do have claw though. Two of the chaos warriors have claw. And no one else. Well, except the Minotaur. We need to get rid of the Minotaur. He has Pylon too, which is funny on a Minotaur. I have Pylon on my f guy. <laughs> he has armor value 10 on all his Chaos Warrior. They are not getting broken, that's for sure. So what else? 7 rerolls, 10 each of the assistants. No enhancement, and he loses more than he wins, I would say. Okay. Well, it's scary, but not as scary as it could have been. I think against this many opponents, I'll get the wizard. He has so many rerolls, there's no point in picking a half in Master Chef. Could get a couple of bribes. Maybe we should get an extra apothecary just in case. Or we could pick up Bar and Ghoul uh, Okay. I guess we're not playing him. He conceded. That's odd. It's usually 
Maybe I took too long? I don't know. I still had plenty of time. Maybe he just didn't want to wait. Or maybe he didn't really like the look of our... Our pylon guys. If you pick armor up on all your armor 9 Chaos Warriors... Especially since they need so many other skills to be really useful... Then you prob probably don't want to play someone else. Alright. Someone else who can uh, remove people. Or maybe he's just uh, looking for people who auto concede against him and they see his high level chaos. Or high team value chaos. Well, we got the SPP for our goblin and our thrower. Nice. Alright, well, I'll try to find another player. Although, if he keeps. If he keeps playing, uh, I think it's a large chance that we'll find the same guy again. Let's see, it's only 19 seconds, so I'll, I'll keep you guys in here and you can be excited with me. When we find, find someone. Because we are high level, he's high level, it will try to match us up together unless there are other high levels as well. Rather than pitting us against someone who's much lower, but it looks like we had some lizardmen in the, in the pile as well. So, uh, they're actually lower value than us, and I did have a bit of extra money. Let's have a look at him then. Croxigore is... he has block. And guard. And stand firm, the one we wanted. Uh, dodge. Mighty Blow Pylon Saurus. Guard Saurus with dodge. Another Mighty Blow with tackle. An agility strength 5 Saurus, or I mean a dodge strength 5 Saurus without block. He definitely wants block on him. Ooh, the agility 4 skink. He has two of them. That's unfair. I've played Lizard so many times, I've never gotten an agility 4 skink. I had one on my first team, like in my third match ever. I had an agility 4 skink. I didn't know really how to play. But that agility skin to, kink was really good until I came up with a brilliant idea to sell him and every other skink just to get a very much lower team value, not knowing that the loners actually cost you team value as well. So, uh, well, these skinks gonna have to go. And he has the dodge tackle guy as well. Uh, five rerolls, uh, beer stand, good record. Let's pick up a Bloodwiser Babe just to bring our cash down a little bit. And he gets extra cash. I was kind of looking forward to playing against that Chaos player. But uh, we're gonna have to play against the Lizard instead. He's gonna get Slibly for almost all his cash. Slibly, of course, being Strength 4 uh, Guard. Block, stand firm, if I remember correctly, and movement 7, otherwise he's just a regular Saurus. Maybe he has agility 2, I, I can't remember, doesn't really matter though. Um, there we go, hello, and uh, fun. At least he didn't pick a wizard. Slum. There he is. Looks pretty cool. Cubone. And uh, we have. He starts on defense. He chose to kick. Interesting, but not very interesting, I suppose. So 2 5 strength. And 5 4 strength. That's what we're gonna have to deal with. We have 1 5 strength. And 5 4 strength. Actually, we have 2 5 strength and 4 4 strength. He has 2 5 strength and 5 4 strength. So it's not that much of a different difference. So, on offense, what do we want to use? Do we want to use our offense goblin? Probably not. He's more of a one-turner. He's not really useful on offense otherwise. We do have our pylons. Dauntless is going to be good here. If we can get to uh, skinks. 
it would be great. This is a uh, passing speed, it's big accuracy to make up for Stumpy, I suppose. So it, it will be just be a regular Agility 4 pass, which is pretty amazing. Seeing how he has a, he has catch on the other skink and sidestep, so I guess they make passing plays. Now one, two, three, four, five, six. We could hit one of his diving tackle skinks. Or we could also hit maybe his five straight. So he put Slibly here. Let's they have guard all of them. We want tackle on him. And where's our guard? We don't have many, but we have some. Troll here. And that's all the guard we have. Hmm. We have five strength, though. This is as good as a guard. We'll put you out here. Blitz. There's our grab guy. There he is. I think I'll try to get around and blitz him. So you go back. That is gonna be a two die. You can go back here. Replace you with you. You go in here. Switch you to around. You go back. I don't think he had kick. He doesn't. Okay. Let's go with this. Not thoroughly protected against... Let's play some Blood Bowl. <laughs> um, alright, the ball's gonna land there. That'll be fine. Except... Oh, it's a high kick too. We can put someone under it. Do we want to use him or do we want to actually put it on like him? Let's try it. I'm not gonna blitz on that side anyway, he was more protecting. Okay, well that's nice. Uh, so, we already have the ball sort of caged. Let's make this happen. Dauntless, didn't need Dauntless. That's not gonna work. Let's pro reroll it. Nope. It's a tie. So you hit Slibly. Yes, stand firm, but yeah, he has block too. If I don't get this, plus one, minus two. I'm gonna have to reroll it. Okay, I guess it chose to push instead of rerolling it. That's fair enough. So now I only have a one die there. I guess I can afford to move one more guy in here to get Slippery out and perhaps make my move the way I wanted it to go. Just want him knocked down. That'll do. Still stands firm. Now, if I can get this, good. Can stand firm here too. And now I can get him pushed away to save myself. And then we try this. It's a go for it, but we have tackle and block. I'll take the block. Slow armor. Sure, pal. We have jump up. 
He could foul us over there, but he could still do that if he blitzes us. Okay, well, armor 7 didn't break. Okay, I'm gonna put the thrower in here. It's nowhere else. It's much better. That helps. Bonehead on the crocs. Slibly gets up though. I don't have a bribe in this game. I was gonna get a bribe in the other game, maybe, but that never started. So here comes the mighty blow pylon from our opponent. Well, uh, probably one of his five rerolls there. Didn't get anything. He hasn't rolled well, very well so far, I would say. His armor rolls were good. So many levels, he doesn't really have anyone to foul with. All his players are kind of useful in a way. But he didn't move him, that's kind of odd. That must mean he's trying. He's planning to foul here. Because otherwise he just give, gave us a jump up hit. Without any reason whatsoever. Maybe he's sacrificing this guy to keep this guy in check. We are going to want to knock this guy down though. We have... Okay, he's gonna protect so we can't get assists there. That's gonna... Take away our... Two die? Put Saurus in there too. Yeah, that's uh, that's gonna make it a little bit tougher on us. But we could. He's down. So I could do this, and then I'd have a hit on him. But could I get through? Just waiting for opponent to. I don't really like the looks of that. Okay, let's get up there. Whenever our opponent gets back. waiting here. The opponent is disconnected. Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. This was looking kind of good. And he did say, let's play some Blood Bowl. I don't see anything in the first turn that would uh, discourage him from continuing. So I, I expect him to be back. Let's make some plans while we're at it. If this hit... Oh! There it goes. Okay. Do we start there now? Should probably start by hitting Slibly, but I don't really have anyone who would have a great hit on him. I guess we do this and then maybe we could stomp on him if it works. If he stands firm. If he doesn't stand firm, I might follow. does stand firm. So I might use someone to stomp on him. What would the odds be, just out of curiosity? 58%. That's not worth a black orc, is it? I could probably get a hit out here. Let's see if I can make this with all this. Okay, that's the one we want to see. Would be nice if this was actually an armor break. Okay, I'm not gonna pile on that then. Because it's a small chance really to break armor. 
Okay, I think we can make a cage out of this. Can we get anyone up to our... There's one dodge to get through there. We could blitz him with a strong guy and perhaps put a cage around here. But we'd have to move you first. That's fine, I'll move you there. Now, one, two, three, four. Push him out of the way. He has fend though. So we'd have to go for it afterwards to open up the path. Okay, it worked. Now, what do we have? We don't have much movement at all. So I don't think we will be going through there. Uh, in fact, let's pull you back here. And put a cage up here instead. I can cancel one. But it'll still be a single die. And we fell. I'm not gonna reroll that. Or will I? Four rerolls? Okay, I'll reroll that. Can I get four rerolls? Must have gotten a. Okay, jump up on him then. It's a push, he gets to. Oh, well, grab candle side stuff. I knew that. Uh, that's fine. I'm gonna get hit anyway. Okay, I don't really like our position. I don't like the fact that we haven't caused any damage. But... Uh, I guess we'll have to work with it. So what will we see the lizards do here? We could tag all our level 1 black orcs with his sauruses who are a bit stronger. Also he can punch both our killers with two die blocks. He's gonna start by blocking Sabretooth. Gets him down. Does not break armor. He does get into the ball carrier. Onto the ball carrier. Skink positioning. Choose your spot carefully. And then he has a 5 strength hit on Coyote. No block, but that doesn't work. worry you when you have 5 strength and you roll the defender stumbles. And Bobcat goes down as well. Single die. Bit of a risky single die, considering we have block. And he does not. We have Fen too. So now we have plus two there, but minus one. I could go for him, and then him, and then hope I can dodge away from this. Could also hit him. I don't think you'll be dodging. So if I did that and that, I could perhaps make a cage out here. It's 
hope Dauntless works. No. Let's pro reroll Dauntless. It failed, but we got it anyway. So we didn't lose anything. Now I can't pile on here because I need his assist to hit this guy off. Do you have tackle? But I kind of don't want to push him this way. Hmm. You don't have tackle. Either way, it's only a one die. So. I could cancel him, hit him. Or stand here, get a plus two, minus one. Works two. Pushes him away. And you go stand here. And then I'll try to knock him down. From here. Too bad. That means he will have a way in there. I guess... Hit one of these guys. Don't roll double skulls, please. Okay. We have no one next to troll, so we don't want to hit with him. We have five straight here, but he has guard all around. Not worth taking. I think I'll try to dodge him. Did work. Go out here. So this mighty little pylon can't do anything. No, I think he's fine there. You don't want to take an action with the troll because if he uh, if he fails, he loses his tackle zone. So at least he's gonna stand there and be a five strength roadblock. Not that he doesn't have a five strength hit right on him right. To die right now. Well, at least we've gotten his his guard guys blocked off from where the ball is. But can make quick work of everybody around here, I believe. We do have some presence ahead of the ball. These guys are still, still in our way, and the fact that we don't have block or guard or any of our black cards is always hurting us, as usual. We can get an assist down here, but that doesn't really help him. Instead, he's gonna move up and get this hit. Uh, I guess that's so he can hit with Slibly. Only a push, though. And he's a loner, so he's probably not rerolling this. Unless he really, really wants to go through here and... Alright, he has a grab. So he can just push us out of the way. Well, that doesn't quite get him through, but he has a blitz left. So he could blitz with his Croxigore and get on our ball carrier with his tail. First, he's gonna knock Zebra down. Fend. Only a push on Coyote, that's lucky for us. We have Dauntless next to his 5 strength guy, but this guy, no, we could actually hit them. Single die push before he moved the Croxigor. Is he gonna try something crazy with the Croxigor then? Ooh, he could be surfed by our ball carrier if we can get to him. Okay, he is gonna try. Oh, that would be a nice time to roll double skulls. Yeah, okay. 
Doesn't look like the ball carrier will be doing anything special. And that takes... No, we still have an assist for this, if we can get Dauntless to work. And then we'd need... Well, you probably just stand up. Same here. Could get an assist up there. If we push this guy away. I'll take that. Still have our troll active. That's good. We could hit with the ball carrier there. I kind of want to make this though. We have pro to reroll it. And even a negative die isn't too bad, but that's perfect. We can knock him down with that. No one work. And now we have a single die from here to push him away, but he has stand firm, so that's not going to work very likely. That's just a one die. Ah, there's a there's a little little skink here. Let's hit that little skink. Nope. Skinks are hard to hit, but uh, it was worth a try. Um, one die here. Could take that one die. Blitz. Well, actually. If I do that, I'm gonna be standing in there. I'm gonna be standing next to the Croxigore. I could blitz here. Hmm. I would love to look, knock him down from here. So that's only a one in three that that works. And then I could. Well, he's gonna stand firm anyway. So I can't really get to that guy anyway, so let's forget about that. That's a one die too. Um, okay, let's do this. Blitz. I only need a push. I'll take that push. Stay. Then I can go down here and make a two die on this. You needed that. Now you can go out here, making this into a two die. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think I follow here. Okay, that's my phone. Well, you're gonna have to watch this for a second, and I'll mute my mic, and I'll be back in a second.
And I'm back at the most important second, and he gets the ball from us. Well, I'm sorry about that. Uh, phone call, and uh, I sort of missed what he was doing that time. It looks like he killed Warthog. Well, that's not great. Let's see if we can fix that. Uh, that's a little bit better. Okay. Stunty dodge stunty. Alright, well, he got the ball from us. It wasn't in a very good position. He has a sidestepper there. We lost our frenzy guy, of course. And he slipped. I don't know if he'd used his reroll. I don't think so, no. It's a pretty useful here, though. What else happened? Everybody's on the floor for some reason. And. Uh, well, there is a guy here, but he has five strength, and we don't really have the strength needed. Where's our... Where's our Dauntless guy? He's right here, that's the one I'm trying to free. I could one die him, but again, he has... He has... Uh, enough... There. I think if I knock him down, I don't want to hit with him. I don't want to hit with him, so I should hit with him here. Oh, that's too bad. Um, you two can stand up. I don't think we can dodge the troll. Let's so just stand him up if he wants to. We don't have Dauntless here. Can we free him? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I guess we can free him instead. If you make this hit, well, that's oh, not gonna work. Did you say about a blitzer? down the orangutan. We didn't get loose there. If I had knocked him down, I'd still have to hit him as well, but Dauntless could have made that, and then we could have gone 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2 to hit him. With block, at least. But now we're just gonna get uh, crushed here instead. Again, we need better black orcs to make this team decent. Our killers can't do everything, everything, and the fact that they're having to do most of the things is making our black orcs never level up. For now, our black orcs are mostly punching bags for the high-level opponents we face. at least a uh, 5 strength for us. I haven't moved this guy yet. I would have moved him to here. Uh, oops. That's another reroll gone. But he has plenty. Pushes us closer. That's something. Maybe I should have dodged away from that. That was probably the best play. I was trying to give, make it any better. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can't reach him now. We might be able to force him to score on 
turn six of our drive, so we get two chances to score a quick touchdown. Or one chance to score a quick touchdown. Okay, that's good enough though. shot at could have gone oh he's gonna hit control he's already used his reroll so that's good for us uh, just a stun could have been great if it had been a kill or a removal but uh, yeah he can't reach can we chain push chain push him one step but that's it and that's a stretch as well have to push this guy into here, which isn't the easiest. I could chain push one of these closer. Where's our killer, other killer? He's there and there. I guess we stand up here and try for this kill. You get up, you get up. Troll can hit Slibly or Skinkyly. I think we're going to try to hit Skinky. We have two hit, two straight hit though. Of course, that's never gonna work against Skink. I think we want a reroll for the Goblin throw, perhaps. Ruthless. Now, I would like to stomp on him, but at the same time, I want to get down there to force him to score. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is gonna be good. Enough. One, two, three, four, five, six. If he goes out here, I don't think he will. So this would be a bad die. This would be a bad die. Can we do anything else? We also have block. Try for a push on him. A dodge. We have this guy to move. I guess we do that. Get him here so he can't. He has dodge, but he's probably not gonna dodge. Oh, I forgot about him. Was he on the floor? Could I have stood him up? So go for it. If you fail that, go for it. Well, you do have two rerolls, but no, he made the go for it, and he got the knock. Didn't break armor, but he can stall again. If he feels like it. Well, he, he could hit him here. One, two. Three, four, five, six, because we have jump up. This time I won't bother trying to free him. Just. Uh... Ooh, the pylon guy got a uh, hit in. And Badger's injured. Our only guard, no long term. So we're gonna have no guard left, except for uh, control. Dodged. He doesn't have much tackle. He has tackle on one of his horses, but that's this guy. Of course, our unskilled black orcs are going to get demolished. 
our high team value actually makes teams like this, who are much better, much better developed than ours, still get a lot of extra inducements against us. I think we should fire our troll and get a new troll, because his his skills cost us a lot. At the same time, I kind of like having a high level troll. He hasn't really gotten the block is really good, but the rest of it. It's mismanaged. So he's just taking all the hits here. We're gonna be on the ground. Should probably just wait out this half and let him score a turn 8. Oh, let him roll a scroll with Slibly. He rerolled that through louder and got the hit. This is probably gonna be an armor break. If you reroll a single die hit and get punched, is usually an armor break? No. Nope this time. That skink's gonna go down though. If anything happens this hard, that skink's gonna go down. He also should move this guy, because I can reach him. I don't think he wants that. Okay, he's gonna suicide. Tsa of Tlaxtan? Tlaxtlan, sorry. Um, that hits good for us. We, that's our 5 straight. We could stand up here, get an assist on him. I guess you stand up. And you... I could hit... Slibly. I could get more assists over here, so I can hit him. Uh, I need one, two, three people. I don't think I can get that many over there. We take this hit. I'll try it. If you can get Slippy out, it would be great. But he has nine armor, so unlikely to break. This would be a one die over here. I guess we can take that because he doesn't have block. Probably try this first though. Hit from here. And I can choose if I want to push him into the edge or not. Made the dodge. Got the knockdown. That means I can push him here. I don't get to see where the ball goes. So I can't pile on because I don't want him to be able to stand up and take that. So I haven't blitzed yet. Let's take this two die. Yes, I have. I just blitzed. Pay attention. I guess we only have one turn, so we, we can't really hit him. We need to, to move into scoring range. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two. A little further. Didn't think of that. Should probably have moved one of the other guys there. Alright, well, uh, if it's gonna be a glorious pass into a glorious touchdown. He could still try to pick this up and uh, blitz us from here, of course. Knock us down and then pick it up and score. One, two, three. Let's two go for it. Probably won't do that first. I think the obvious play is to knock this guy down and then try to pick it up again. We really don't have anyone else who can retrieve this ball. Looks like he's going out for Sabretooth. No, nope, there he goes. Does get knocked down. It is going to be tough for us. Real tough. He's gonna try to pick it up with the Saurus. No problem. 
And now this guy's gonna stop us from uh, getting at him. Yeah, there's nothing we can do here. This dodge would be terrible, because he has uh, diving tackle. What are the odds of getting away from a diving tackle at 67? It's like a 5 plus. Suppose we have a reroll. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then a go for it to hit him. And if it's a push, he scores. We score for him. I guess if he diving tackles and we reroll and make it, then we have a chance. But we can't, uh, we can't pick the ball up after much. Do we have anyone else in range? No. No more traps. If only we had someone with seven movement. In frenzy. Oh, he brought in another guy. Two, three, four, five, six, one, two. That's not good. Does he have diving tackle? He doesn't. No matter how I do this, he scores, right? Or at least he gets a chance to take a two die on us, push us away, and then score. So it'll be a, like a one in nine for him not to score, and he has a reroll. We don't have a wizard, do we? You know? Now that would be a 67 minus 2, so a 45, and then I'd have to go like this. I think we wait on that. Let's stand up here. Let's try to... Oh, I don't know, say... Hmm. They all have guard, can't hit anyone. We get a plus one on him. Still a minus two. Can't do anything here. Can't even hit him. Maybe with him. Alright, let's just do this then. He has to use Diving Tackle. That means we can... reroll it. And we didn't make it. Okay, well... We've lost the game, probably, unless we can get really, really lucky in the second half. Didn't wake up either. So much for the Bloodwiser, babe. I suppose. Uh, and uh, it's defense now. Five strength to work on this on the line. Probably not. Should we have the troll on the line? I guess we kinda have to. Otherwise we'd have to put the five strength work there. I'd say the five strength work is more valuable than the troll. I just said I wanted to get rid of the troll. another guy up there. Guess we put our offense goblin on this side. A little bit too spread out, but uh, we'll go with it. At least we have kick, but there's no way through his team. This well-developed lizards are 
probably not going to let us do anything. He, can, he could leave his five strength swords on the sidelines and still be okay. But he's probably gonna get this Saurus, this skink out instead. Okay, that's good. I think that's where the players, players you want on the field. I've been playing some lizards lately, and uh, well, my swords all die before they reach level two. But the skinks are fine. They're getting all kinds of catch and uh, sidestep. I did get the strength three skink, but he died in the first game. After that, I have gotten some block on the sources. Then again, I'm only uh, like six games in or something. Well, as far as this guy is. They're a bad match matchup for orcs because the orc's strength is that we have four, uh, five strong guys, but the lizards shall have seven strong guys. Okay, so we need to uh, steal the ball. So let's go for a close kick and get the blitz. Uh, it's a little bit too close, but we'll work with it. Uh, let's see, you should get the ball. Let's blitz with you. One, two. Hmm, that won't get us past as a push. But we'll go with it. It's gonna be a knockdown because I'm gonna reroll it. There we go. Don't follow because then you block. What I'm doing next, which is. That. Annoying goblin in the way. Let's get this thing over here. I guess you can tie up this guy. And let's hope it doesn't bounce here and give him the ball. That would be kind of unfortunate. Proxy gore out here. What's the point of that? Don't this guy is on this side. I guess I'm gonna run him in the middle now. Because I don't like the looks of that Croxigor. The eyes. That Croxigor looks a little bit. Okay, yes, so he can't dodge. I do think we keep these guys here just in case he, he uh, gets the ball. He does bounce to him and he's gonna fumble it across the line eventually. So he will get a touchback, as expected. Well, I had to try it, because we needed to steal the ball. I'm gonna give the ball to the Croxy Bar. So that was his plan, I guess. Scoring with the low agility guys. A bit unlucky, it could have bounced uh, not to his two guys here, but it looked like it would. I don't know why. So there goes the... Okay, he's... Setting himself up to be surfed, but I guess he's planning on hitting us first. I guess that would free up a bit of team value. Gonna have to push us away then. Well, you're gonna have to move in there actually, otherwise, I surf this guy. Yeah, that's the problem with having him as a board carrier. Actually, that's not the problem, that's more of a problem if you have a wild animal board carrier. Bonehead's gonna work half of the time, er, or five times out of six anyway. Now we're gonna have to put Skink Cage around Croxigor.
All right, he's moving his sources away, well, that specific source away from all. Grab. Not gonna use it. It's gonna push us. Well, this blitz is juicy. Let's hope no black orcs die. Well, Sabertooth, he's only one point away from level up. Okay, that's fine. That's not gonna be a good hit for you. That is, though. But Seagull gets to sidestep. Hmm. I don't know, this way? Okay, then he can escape this way. That's the plan. Now our thrower is in the wrong spot. Many people are in the wrong spot. Um, let's just get rid of this guy, should we? We should probably just stand up there first. Get you moving. Maybe you could tie up one of the sources, so at least you're doing something. Then I'll put this guy, so we get a triple die, triple die. He has no one with frenzy at least. The troll could come in and be in the way. This black orc goes here, I think. Uh, I want to dodge you, but I'll make the blitz first. I want to dodge you, but I'll make the blitz first. I want to dodge you, but I'll make the blitz first. I don't really want to move you. So let's just see if this guy will go out. No, but he will go down. Because I have to be happy that wasn't a triple skull. I'll stand there. No, I'll stand there. Guess I'll bring you. No, you're good where you are. Mm. Okay, well, this dodge needs to happen. Hide him behind the guy. This dodge needs to happen. Not sure exactly where to go here. Uh, probably not there. But that's okay. I don't care too much about that goal. Maybe. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Okay, he's the receiving threat. Should probably have done it the other way around. Made him the receiving threat. Okay. Kind of unfortunate to not get a push. Especially when he has to dodge. We were... Kind of likely to get the push on him. He's gonna knock that guy down again, but he's not gonna get it this time. Okay. I think we've cut off these guys. Unless he's gonna skink hit. Ooh, is he gonna let me blitz surf this guy? Yeah, he failed to dodge. Well, that can be rerolled. I was just uh, failed you to tackle. Not a f complete fail. Okay, he's moving. We do have. Uh, Break tackle here. It does allow us to move into cages with Hippo, but 
Well, if you put someone on him, then we have to use, use it to get away. And then we can't really do it. I don't think he will be able to um, break through us unless he gets everybody else over here. They're kind of tied up. This guy's not. I guess this guy could dodge out, but he's probably won't. He probably wants to hit the goblin there. He's chasing my goblins. That's a tackle source. He's actually kind of dangerous. Well, that goblin didn't stand up to the punch. Shouldn't have placed him there. Well, he's okay. I guess we run this guy back towards this. Oh, it's gonna take the one dice. Red die? Might as well. Nope. Okay. Well, we can't surf him immediately. And this guy has side steps. We can't surf him or him. I would like to put some pressure onto this so so he's forced to keep caging up on the sideline. I could just go for a skink blitz and then perhaps get I don't know this goblin in there. Well, it seems kind of weird to put that goblin next to something like this. We also have this to worry about. You should be standing. A punch there and move this guy. A punch this. I guess we go like this. Guilty for skink. I have to. I mean, a guilty for skink. Score on a drop of a hat. Hey, we got rid of one. Okay, so let's first do this. Oh, okay, that's that's okay. Poor guy. There's nothing poor about a. See, he he will get past if I don't. Do I ma mind if he does? Hmm. Okay, let's see if we can get the strength guy. I have the perfect spot for him. I need a push though. It's even better. He's gonna stand there to have patrol next time. And then you. I think we tie up this source. No, he has to. It's okay, we have jump up so he can still move pretty far. He's gonna put tackle on us again. That's what I expected him to do, that's why I wanted that goblin there. No jump up and dauntless. There he goes. Wouldn't it be awesome if we could actually surf that? I need an assist, I, I don't have enough players. He's gonna put Slibly in there. And he's probably gonna tie up Warthog as well. Maybe even with a skink that has timing tackle, although I don't really see such skink. There it is. The other diving tackle skink is up here. Okay, so maybe not that. Man. He's gonna put the source there. 
Fair enough. And we can't really dodge away. Unless we can get an assist in over here. Then we'd have to make this dodge. Make that dodge. Knock him down. Surf Slibly. Not very likely. That's going to be a negative. No, that's actually not going to count. He has sidestep though, so we can't surf him. He does not have dive on, diving tackle. I can't get anyone over there. I could get the troll in here, maybe. This wouldn't really help with anything. Forgot about this guy. He's our scoring threat. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, I think I need to get to here so I can do the jump up hit on this guy. Don't want to fail this. Good. Then I jump up hit this guy. Don't this should make it a two die. Fail the jump up. Use the regular reroll for that. Fail again. That's unlucky. Now we can't get out of this. Oh, we could do that. Yes, these two could help on that. Well, that's unfortunate. So what's left? Um... Two dodges. Well, I guess that works. It's not gonna help. It's just gonna blitz us away. But yes, that's all we have at the moment. Didn't work, we have a tackle there, and then we just went real. That's too bad. Failing three jump ups didn't help. Now he can probably surf a few. He's gonna start by hitting a goblin. It's nice of him. So now we're, we have diving tackle on the ball carrier. I think that was a mistake. Can't still do that. He's not going to be able to get this goblin away very easily. Although he can blitz him from there and that would force us away. But who's going to blitz though? This skink, of course. He could blitz with the crooks. Ooh, he went bonehead. That helps. He didn't even try to reroll it. I think I would have tried to reroll that. If it works, he is likely. Well, actually, he needs he needs a pow or a both down to uh, on a triple die to be able to uh, get through. So, um, he's shifting some people around. Still have these hits if he wants them. Yes. Push. Push us together so his guard will help. It's fine, I'm not taking those hits, I'm just keeping them 
So he's boneheaded. He should not give an assist, right? But he has stand front. I can't really set him. Uh, jump up from here is gonna be single die if Dauntless works. What about this? Jump up, hit on him. The tackle. Not gonna be good. Let's try that again. This time with you. That won't work. That's fine though. At least we freed up the troll. Get in here. Get that hit off. But what would I gain? Nothing really. I can't do two dodges. I could could do one dodge. If I can do this first, I can get to troll the blitz. I need a knockdown on a one die. And dauntless. I mean, I've had worse things than that. Use the pro reroll. Fail. Actually, it worked, but we failed to jump up again. That's five jump ups in a row we failed. No, no, that was a one on the pro. So it's only four jump ups in a row and a pro on the top there. Okay, so we. One, two, three, four, five. We'll get our troll surfed. Because he doesn't have stand firm. But I guess. I guess that's what we have to do. Okay, now we're all the one on that too. That's unfortunate. Uh, okay, well, let's just stand up here. And here. And here. I can take some single dice, but I'm not going to. So we sidestep to here, because we can't leave the ball carrier. Who hit us? Okay, what's the scheme? He gets... He wastes a hit there. We have to survive one more hit with our goblin though. Yes. And he has tackle. He's probably rerolling that. Yeah. Yes! No! So close. I thought we had block. Oh, seagull. You did your job. It wasn't your fault. It was everybody else's fault. But now, you're gonna be fired. See, seagull did what he should do there. He, he prevented that for a very long time. And he definitely took up lots more hits than we would have expected him to. But our big killers being lazy and failing their jump ups, our troll being stupid, eating rerolls, and all the jump up guys eating rerolls. Looks like he, well, that's in case he fails the move with the Croxy, I suppose. I don't think he would be stalling here. If he takes that one die, he's probably stalling. Him. Should try to activate the crocs at least? Well, I guess not. Well, again we're down to... We're down to getting this to work. I 
should be able to hit him actually and get in there. That's gonna give us a, an assist. If I cancel him, it's not looking too bad. I need to get rid of him though so he, I can get past here. And if I knock him down, I can't follow because then I can't get through. Unless I push him diagonally, like that, then I can get through to there and hit from there. Mm, that, that could work. But let's do this first. That's going to be a two die into two die. And at least get us onto ball carrier here. Might get us surfed in the long run. But that'll we'll do. Get rid of that guy. Diving tackler. Now I need to cancel him. I think you're the guy to do that. So he's cancelled, he's cancelled. I can move from here. If you're gonna stand up. Uh, I can move from here. Where would I put you? I kinda want to blitz with you in case everything goes wrong. I could knock him down, but that's not really helping us. I suppose I could get to there and assist and then knock him down and go around. So maybe I should do this first. Well, that would have been the hit I needed for the other one. But now I get an assist. And I broke off. Which is better. So Dauntless. Push. Can't have this be a push. Let's just pro reroll it. Failed. Okay, well in that case push him here and stay and we'll blitz with the troll ah oh, that's what I need you for you need to assist the troll here so the troll goes one two three four five out. Hello? Um, we'll keep tying him up. He's free to come join. Still need the receiving threat. So our other goblin went, went out, so we can't, can't do the glorious uh, troll runs up, throws the goblin with the ball up here, the other goblin runs up, hands it off to this goblin. Okay, I guess he's not concerned about helping in this situation. Three more turns. And right now... We can't really do much. He's he's uh, boneheaded, so that's just the one die, and he's alone. But he managed to reroll, it and he still got. Ooh, that's that's actually scary. I could. It wouldn't be too much of a stretch to get a triple die. If I follow... Yeah, pile on. Need a guy outside the troll. Okay, we got rid of that guy too, that's good. I need a guy outside of the troll. Preferably someone that wouldn't be... Oh, you can't get there, huh? I'm gonna need a push on him then. I'll take that. That'll be good enough. You two should be standing. I'll put you out here. That's a plus two. And he has stand firm. Oh, I forget. 
You can still knock him down with the troll, man. I was gonna surf him, but of course he has stand firm. Ooh, nice, we stunned him. So, we haven't blitzed yet. I guess I could blitz there. Get the ball. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do we make it go for it here? The answer is no, but we did. He doesn't really have anyone to recover here. So I won't... I won't reroll that. I mean, he could try to pick it up with a Saurus. I've removed all his skinks. He does have rerolls for the Saurus pickup. I guess he could pick it up with him. Pick it up with him. As long as these guys don't get stunned or get knocked out, at least in a position where they can keep going. And his nimble feet are actually keeping this alive. Okay, so I'm just going to put those guys on their feet again. Single die, skull, second to last reroll, a push. I'm not exactly sure what he's trying to do here. I could try to dodge this guy. Pass. I do have the pass skill with him. If you went here, and then I blitzed with him, I'd still have to dodge. Okay, these two need to stand up. Just so I don't forget or otherwise fail that action. Could free up the troll, it wouldn't really matter. You're free to move. That doesn't really matter either. I think I'll put you here. Yeah, so he can't get free as easily. It's a one die, but if I get Dauntless it's a two die. I don't think that's what we tried to do first. If I dodge him though, this guy would be free. I could still get up to a handoff with this guy. But I can't fail that pickup. I think we put you up, you up here and then I try to dodge you. Because he could free us up by hitting there otherwise. Uh, then I have to try to pick up. That's the most important thing right now. Okay, it worked. I don't think I want to pass. It's too unlikely to work. I want to dodge you to here. That's pretty good. Might as well run you over here. Give us a little bit more. Okay, so if I... Uh, I think I hit you. If I get... If I jump up, pro reroll. It's not important, but this time the reroll worked. Fail Dauntless, no. Didn't use the reroll. Still got him. Don't pile on, it doesn't really matter if you kill Slippery. You go stupid again, that's fair. Don't use the reroll on that either. Uh, at this point, I still think oh, we could afford to hit him, but 
yes, we can't afford it time-wise. Now he has a very tough dodge. He's gonna blitz. He does get us down. Finally, someone who can't dodge away. So he's going for to stopping him. And then hitting here again. Well, I guess our black orcs are doing that job. Just dodge for that. No, oh, he's free though. One, two, three, four, five. Him in, and then we have a two die to push him away. Don't we? Plus three. Yeah, we should have. Okay, he's chain pushing our troll. Stomping on. Killer, who's knocked out. Fair enough. Did his job. So, get you there. Get you there. Then we should have plus three. That should be enough to hit him off. And then go one, two, three, four. It's better than dodging. We don't want to go on that side, but if you want to push him that place, we can run this way. I guess it doesn't really matter, but... And also we want to keep that spot clear. So that will be a plus three. We have tackle. That will do. This time I will pile on because it doesn't matter. Yeah. Of course we get an injury without piling on there. If you do that on turn 1 instead of turn 16, I would kind of like it. Could stand those up, doesn't matter. Let's uh, run up here and hand off. We have a reroll for the catch. 1 in 9. Apparently it's not a failure because it didn't go great. And we're in. Didn't think we would tie that game. Especially, well, the first half was terrible, but the second half, I guess he tried the Croxy score, which was kind of, kind of bad and risky. And then uh, he got stuck on that sideline. He didn't really play super well on the sideline. He took a lot of hits that he didn't need to do. He could have just moved the Croxy and scored at one point. But uh, he instead chose to take lots of hits, and it failed. Lost some fan factor. That's good. And hey, look! SPP for a Black Orc. Almost level 2. We have several almost level 2 Black Orcs now. Is it... Uh, I think it works that if you have almost guard, you get a plus 0 0.5 uh, on nearby hits, right? Seven armor breaks versus nine. We took uh, a lot less blocks, so that's part of it. And uh, yeah, go for with the touchdown. Go for it, as we call him, because he has sprint now. Seagull unfortunately took the hard hit. But that'll mean we have a little bit less team value next game, I guess. And also... One hit away, one hit away... One hit away... Actually, one pass away. Not that we ever get a chance to make vanity passes with Black Orcs, the way we're playing. It would be nice to have someone who's terrible at the game, but still doesn't concede in instantly when we get a little bit of an advantage. So we could take the time and stand these two in the backfield and have them toss passes to each other and have this guy kill someone with armor 7 and we'd have all of them level up at once. Warthog's getting close though, he, he had a close call there, we had to save him from death. 
but he's only two SVP away from another level, and what would he level get to level six? I don't know. What goes well with Frenzy and Blodge? More stats. Could get him Pro. Pro's been working out pretty well for Coyote. Almost to the point that I'm considering using Pro for our last skill on Bobcat as well. Maybe we should get... Oh right, we can't get Grab with Frenzy. I was gonna say, maybe we should get Grab on him so he can use his Frenzy to get Sidestepper shot in the way. But you're not allowed to take Grab and Frenzy, it's too strong of a combo. So we actually blocked that. It's in the skill description. Several players are getting close on levels. No points for Hippo. Hmm. See, he's costing us... How much is a troll? A troll is... 110. Plus... 20... 40... 60... 90... 120. So he's costing us 230 team value. He'd be uh, at 1900 without the troll. Then again, I'd probably get a new troll. And that would get, get us some of the team value back. But we would be just over 2000 instead of 2130. But he is helpful. Especially break tackle. It can be really useful. We combine, and having block is also really good. I mean, he did knock the ball off the proxy board, which prevent, uh, which made us that tie in the end. Even though he uh, went stupid on a previous attempt, he went stupid on a previous attempt. Yeah, and then uh, Coyote was lazy and didn't jump up twice. Bobcat once, but it all worked out in the end. I don't know exactly what went wrong in the first half. I got a phone call. That's probably what went wrong. And uh, yeah, I can't really remember. I got caught in the sideline and somehow, and then he took the ball from me. And I couldn't recover. I made a little bit of a stupid play after that. I remember now. I could have just dodged Coyote out and chased down the skink who had the ball, but instead I tried some complex series of actions that would free him without needing a dodge, and I ended up instead trying to free Badger without a dodge and it tur probably turns out that all those actions I tried to make was a lot harder than just dodging Coyote in the first place. That's a trap you always fall into when you're trying something advanced. It's like, okay, I can dodge this guy, but that's kind of hard. Can I get him free some other way? Yeah, I can do this and this and this and this and this and this and this. And then he would be free. But then it turns out that rolling all those two pluses is much harder than rolling the three plus for the dodge. So, that's a lesson to be learned, for me at least. Thank you very much for watching though, I hope you enjoyed the match, and uh, I'll see you again next time.